All right, my name is Jace Blaylock. Um, I'm a class of 2022. I play infield, outfield. I play for Trinity Christian School, and I'm currently committed to Georgia Tech. This is a day in the life. Um, I got into baseball at the age of three. I mean, what influenced me to start playing was just my dad. It was just the first sport I uh, got into, and I really liked it. Um, I would say I was really good at the age, so I just continued to play baseball. So I started playing at three, and my dad influenced me to play the game. I picked the college program of uh, Georgia Tech because they just believed in me before anyone else did. They just bought my bat. Um, everybody else was just worried about like my bat and defense. I feel like they just toned in on my bat and so, like the good bat that I have. And they just believed in me before anybody else. And I just love the experience, like the uh, atmosphere there. It's close to home, and uh, I just love Georgia Tech. I feel like there is a pressure, but at the same time, it's not. The pressure that I feel is because like, you feel like sometimes you can't fail because you're a D1 athlete, and someone that's not a D1 athlete would like, you know, you know that feeling like if you strike out to someone that's not, then they feel like they're better than you, and that's just not the case because baseball is a, a failing game. But I also feel no pressure because I know I've, I've gotten to where I want to be, and that's a D1 athlete, so yes and no. My greatest strength uh, to the game is definitely my hit tool, uh, my power tool, gap to gap tool. And my weakness, I would say, is defense and just my arm in the outfield, arm at um, second base infield. Yeah. Oh my 
Uh, my top three players are number one, definitely Ronald Acuna. It's just the way he plays the game. He's so different compared to the rest of the MLB. Um, the swag that he brings to the game. He plays for my uh, my favorite team, the uh, Atlanta Braves. My second player would be Jazz Chisel. It's the same reason. He just brings so much swag to the game. He's different. He just plays with enthusiasm. He looks like he's not trying. He's just out there having fun. And uh, my third would be Bryce Harper. He, he's the same way. He just brings so much fun to the game. He just he hits the ball so far. He has a great arm. He has a, a great tools. Um, he's just fun to watch. Those guys are just fun to watch, and I've been watching them for a while now. My favorite baseball moment so far would definitely be uh, having the father's home run in Little League World Series history back in 2017. Um, I hit a ball, I think it was 375. It's the farthest one ever hit. I still hold the record for it. But the crazy thing is, before that, I was like 0 for 7, and then I was in a huge slump. I got down on myself. My dad taught me out of it. I just believed in myself, and I got out there and hit the farthest ball I probably hit. So that's definitely my best moment in baseball. My advice, if you're trying to be a D1 athlete, I just say you have to be different out there. Um, you can't be like everybody else. You got to hustle on and off the field. And when you do fail, uh, just have a good attitude about it and just keep grinding and keep trying to get better. Because if you're failing and, and scouts are looking at you and you have a bad attitude, they, they automatically cross you off the list. And I've learned that since I was a young kid. So I just say just keep grinding. And no matter what, just know baseball is a failing sport. You just got to keep going and going until you get it.
I don't like, bro, it feel the same, but it ain't. Look up there, it ain't the same. That shit is So yesterday we went to the uh, field. Uh, we did some ground balls, fly balls. We did some uh, BP on the field. And today we came here, we started with medicine ball workout. Did some more soft toss, T work, drill work, and just did overhand toss. That's it, that's the day of my life. Thank you.